Did you know you can hunt for buried treasure almost anywhere in the state? All you need is a GPS device or GPS on your cell phone. It's really fun. Back in 2000, some of the first consumer global positioning system or GPS devices became available. And along with those devices, a fun new outdoor activity was born, geocaching. Well, today I'm at a beautiful city park here in Bedford in Southwest Iowa, and I've got an expert who's gonna give me some tips, Tanya Wilmes. Tanya. How are you? It, it, it's like a scavenger hunt. It's a it's worldwide scavenger hunt is how I explain it. Geocaching is an outdoor treasure hunting game where participants search for caches or containers that hold small items like trinkets, toys, or log books. One time we found um, little Christmas ornaments. They were old, old antique ornaments. And they were in there that somebody just put Christmas ones in there. And some of them, they were like t-shirts. They put t-shirts in and you can take a t-shirt and leave a t-shirt, it was a t-shirt trading thing. Instead of using an old map and searching for an X, you use a GPS with a set of coordinates and sometimes a few clues. That's it. With those tools, you're well on your way to finding treasure. Just don't expect your find to be worth millions. What's inside the cache is really secondary. The fun is in the search. I understand that for you, a lot of the fun is getting other people turned on to yes, this. Yes, I do. I like showing people. It's, it's just fun. It's something to do. Starting out is as simple as logging on to a geocaching website like geocaching.com and typing in your address or the name of a local park or trail. You may be surprised to see how many caches are in your own neighborhood. But we go, we're gone all day. All day. We leave at like 8, come home at midnight. And do you do it along the way when you're traveling yep. otherwise, too? Yep. If we go anywhere new, there's, there's cash there, we get it. Uh -huh. There are a few rules you need to know before you start geocaching. First and foremost, anyone can play. It's a treasure hunting game meant for the whole family. Rule number two. If you take something out, you need to leave something behind so other geocachers, a lot of them go with their kids and the kids like finding that stuff. So if you take it out and then there's nothing there, well, if they have kids, that's not fun for them to find. And always put the cash back where you found it so others can enjoy searching for it again and again. You also can go online to find different groups in the state, including IGO, the Iowa Geocachers Organization. Tanya showed me how participants normally find their way to a set of specific GPS coordinates and then attempt to find a geocache hidden in that location. And this isn't one you hid yourself. Somebody else hid it, correct? Yes. Even with a seasoned wow. geocacher like Tanya, my first Three attempt took quite a while to find. Hmm. You see something? No, it's a piece of paper. Darn it. We searched and searched and searched. It seemed like all hope was lost. Tanya, I think we're stumped here. <laughs> well, does anybody ever walk off with them, Tanya? Sometimes they do. Yeah, you get all muddy. <laughs> you don't have any way of knowing if it's not there anymore, though, correct? Right. But as Tanya relates, sometimes patience and diligence are the biggest keys to success. No, it has to be here. You don't quit. You don't quit. <laughs> no. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Sometimes the best hidden geocaches are in plain sight. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, you found it! Look, that paid off. Where was it? Underneath that bush, right there on that corner. It's so green, it just mixed it in. See, just little things that you can put in there. Well, I guess the lesson here is never, never give up. Yeah, you, you just, if, it's, if nobody said it's not been found, you try, I tell you, you can't, really can't find it. Tanya, that was so much fun. And there it was right under our noses. Yes, it was. I think I'm ready to go solo now. You've been a good teacher. Okay. So show me on my smartphone here. I see City Park. Yep. And it, it's an olive jar wrapped in black tape. And the hint is under. 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 OK, time for me to follow the arrows. This is kind of like an Easter egg hunt or looking for a needle in a haystack. Here we go. OK. 
Okay, now it looks like I'm gonna be heading off to my right up here. Now I've got a clue here. And the clue is one word, under. I think I'm getting closer to the area. Under. <laughs> Here it is. My olive jar with black tape on it. Now, let's just see what we've found. Huh? <laughs> Kids would love this. Put it right back where I found it. Geocaching is a fun and entertaining activity anyone can enjoy. Just take a GPS device, a good pair of outdoor shoes, and an adventurous attitude. You'll be well on your way to becoming a seasoned treasure hunter.